So today I want to share with you this shabby chic uh, mini album that I made using the Stamperia Ceremony paper collection. And I also want to do a little bit of catching up on things that are happening behind the scenes and just to give you the heads up on a couple of my giveaways at my blog. So first, let me start with uh, by showing you this mini album in its entirety. And if you are interested in um, in seeing the tutorial, I do have a Patreon only video tutorial. It's in several different sections for this mini album and much of it is uncut. Um, you get to see... <laughs> <laughs> you get to hear me chatting about stuff and while making the mini album and so forth. And for about less than a medium sized cup of cappuccino, you can support me on Patreon. And it doesn't cost that much. Trust me, you're not even going to feel it. And it's just another way for me to raise funds so that all the work and the supplies that I put into my paper crafting, especially my cards that I make, I donate them to area um, retirement homes and I even give them out to people in different ministries so that when they go visit somebody, visit shut-ins and whatnot, they have something pretty to give them. And I give away about a hundred cards a month, <laughs> believe it or not, many of which you never ever get to see on my YouTube or anywhere else because I, when I'm in a card making mood, I can go at it for hours and uh, I just don't bother making a video or, cause it's a lot of work making cards when you're making that many. And um, also it's a lot of work taking the pictures, editing pictures, putting them in a blog post, editing your blog post and editing your videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run this. And I would love to have you support me on Patreon. Like I said, that those funds are just to go back into my crafting that I donate. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. And so, um, and after I show you this mini album, um, if you'd like, you can stick around and listen to what's coming up. Um, in my personal life. Okay, so like I said, it's a Stamperia Ceremony Shabby Chic mini album. And this mini album, I made it with the intention of giving it to my mom. I've made so many projects for Mother's Day. And my mom loves Shabby Chic. She loves the bright shabby light colors. And so I have so many papers that I buy that just sit there and so I took this opportunity to make this mini album for my mom to gift it to her for Mother's Day and just basically using items for my stash, items that were gifted to me and uh, papers that have just been sitting there for months and maybe even years. <laughs> My friends and I went back and forth on how I should decorate the front. And I was like, okay, I love the paper, the Stamperia paper. I don't know if you can tell the sheet that I use. And then I had this gorgeous applique. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And when I first put it down, I was like, you know what? let the applique do the work for me. And all I did was I just added a couple of, you know how I love bling. I just added a couple of bling pieces here and over here. And I made this little, um, whatchamacallit, stick pin. And what I did here, if you could tell, instead of trimming the, uh, the applique to make it fit, because I figure if I trim it, you can tell tell the trim mark. So all I did was I just brought it over like so and then glue it in and you will see how it turn, turned out. I like the way it turned out. And of course, I did use one of my um, trims from Hobby Lobby. These are the ones that you get in a, um, in a 
bolt, those little bolts. Okay, and of course, you can always get it when they're half off, like every other week, right? And I use that for my closure. And so over here, I wanted to put something here that would, um, which we'll call balance out these two metal pieces over here so i thought that the perfect balance would be like a visual triangle and that's why i put this uh medallion piece over here and of course i also added some um let me see if i could <laughs> get them to okay there we go i added some um charms from my stash once again i've been sitting on these for years now and i do believe that these charms were gifted to me by shabby pink house hi christine <laughs> she's such a sweetheart and this is what the back of the mini album looks like you know nothing special just kind of like you know putting the trim over and a couple of metal pieces here and yes i did ink around each one of these edges and the ink that i used was from graphic 45 and let me see if I can pull that color. This is the one that I like to use whenever I do shabby chic. And the color is, see if I could show it to you, Venetian lace. Alrighty. And so, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Alrighty, so upon opening it up, and um, you will hear me explaining why I did the things that I did in my video, my Patreon video. Um, we have a photo mat here, and we have, see how I did this? The wrap around okay and it's it's a shabby chic album and i don't think you can tell really that this is a wrap around from this so um yeah i wanted to make it very dimensional and everything and so i did just that and it's just a matter of layering and using items for my stash items that have been sitting there for the longest time um, let me show you this page over here this right here is from a die sire crafters companion um edge die and this is for my stash that i got from joanne's years ago and i used one of my graphic 45 um whatchamacallit um tags and this tag if you can tell when i did the die cut it doesn't fit it perfectly and that is because this is an older tag this is a do you all remember the graphic 45 tags that had the words um die cut on them this is what this is you know and, and uh, tuesday morning had these and so i bought a bunch of these type of tags and even though i did use the graphic 45 die to cut the insert you can tell that it that the dimensions are not exact okay and that is because this is an older tag but if you're to get you the new graphic 45 tags the square ones you'll be able to see that it is an exact match okay i just wanted to give you the heads up on that and the papers that i used here and here are actually some leftover papers from my uh designs from polka doodles and i do believe in my blog if uh, my blog's going to have all of the affiliate links to that and so you can always visit my blog if you want to see pictures of this and and see the supplies list um over here <laughs> years ago i did a die cut swap with my one of my bffs sandra buse and she is creative paper craft on youtube and on instagram and on facebook and look sandrita I'm, i just got to use this how many years later <laughs> And so, yeah, I went ahead and put that there because I thought it was really neat that uh, once you pull, she pulls this out, she gets to see the word love here. And over here, this is just a piece of applique that I put in there. It's a just because, you know, shabby chic, why not add it in there, right? And here is a trim from some Happy Mail. And over here, 
over here, I have these bows. These bows I use through my entire uh, Shabby Chic book. And these bows were actually gifted to me. Right now I'm turning to find her name. Oh my gosh. Oh. Fun paper art. These bows were gifted to me not too long ago by Marianne Costa. She is fun paper art on YouTube and on Instagram. And uh, she is such a sweetheart. Please sub to her as well and go visit her Instagram page if you do Instagram. And so, yeah, she gifted these bows to me. And thank you so much, honey. I got to use them. And what I did here is each one of these pages is a pocket page. And you will see in my video, if you subscribe to my Patreon and support me on Patreon, you will see why I like to make each page a pocket page. And so... Um, this goes like that and I thought it was a really neat idea to add each one of these at the end of the um, whatchamacallit the photo mat because this way it makes it easier to pull the photo mat out and of course it's shabby chic so there you go we have a shabby chic bow on there <laughs> So on the next page, and once again, using items from my stash that have just been sitting there. And over, he over here, I made a clear um, photo pocket in which my mom will be able to insert a picture right along here. Okay, and um, just basically use some shabby chic trims and flat back pearls. And these are those nouveau drops that I use to um, adorn this die cut piece. And this sentiment over here is from one of my heartfelt creations. Uh, sentiments that was just sitting in my desk and I was like you know what instead of looking for a sentiment a shabby chic like sentiment I thought that this um, pink went very well over here so what I've done over here is I created a kind of like a belly band but it's a vertical belly band to hold some tags and when you pull the tags out of this belly band you come across this picture frame that was also gifted to me by my friend Sandra and so in this picture frame my mom will be able to insert a picture here and here's another one of those bows from fun paper crafts and in shabby chic it's a matter of layering okay so once again i took um doilies and flowers from my stash actually this doily was gifted to me by my other bff rosa gomez she is um gosh i forgot her youtube let me see rosa what's your youtube <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Rosa Gomez. I forgot her YouTube. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but it's, uh, she's Rosa Gomez on Instagram as well. And I highly recommend that you check out her channel. She does a lot of polka doodles, a lot of amazingly cute snail mail, snail mail ideas. And so I will try to remember to post these ladies YouTube channels in the description area of my video. You know, I'm like, don't forget. <laughs> okay, so here's the belly band. Oh, and you'll also see stickers, clear acetate stickers that I use throughout. And Again, things that I bought a long time ago because they were on sale or they were on clearance. And you know how it is. You buy, 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 and then you just shove them in, in wherever you keep your stuff and you forget about it. Well, my intention to do this was to use stuff for my stash. So here is another tag that I bought eons ago from... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joann's I don't know if you can get these anymore I don't know the maker I'm sorry and so here is another one of those Tuesday morning graphic 45 tags that I used uh, I cut inserts using that polka doodles vintage paper and here is a booklet yep yep I made a booklet 
you know, just something for my mom to put more pictures in. And this is going to go right along here, just like that. And um, another pocket, you know, holding a tag. So let me just put that back in, just like so. Okay. Now over here, what I've done in this page is this is just glued right on. And I know that it comes out this way. It comes out a little bit um, over here, but I really don't mind. And I don't think my mom would mind, you know, after all, it's a shabby chic. And, and the, th the beauty about shabby chic is that it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect cuts or anything like that because it's shabby. You know, the term, the term states shabby chic. And so, yeah, that is what I did. Let me just stick this back in here. And I love this die cut so much that I used it to separate two areas and my mom can put two pictures here. And this is also from a crafter's companion die. And I just use some gold foil paper that I had. It's more like gold foil cardstock that I had, you know, in the spirit of using items from my stash. And over here is another die cut from my stash. This is from a Tim Holtz frame that this die cut I've been sitting on forever and I said you know what let me just go ahead and use it and I had a small trim of this um gosh it's in the tip of my tongue I can't remember okay this type of fabric and so here it is and I thought that it made a really great background for that and hang on a second because I'm expecting um Okay, that's fine. And so, uh, once again, this is from my stash. This is from a bow bunny, actually. A uh, bow bunny wood die, uh, not die cut, they're laser cut wood pieces from bow bunny that I got from Tuesday morning a while back. And this is from Sandra, and this is from Sandra. And over here, this is from one of my spellbinders. Uh, dies and another um, piece over here another photo mat and this paper if you're interested this comes with this same type paper uh, pack from polka doodles and so let me just put this back on here I hope my mom likes it you know um, and so anyways going back over here I'm um, this is just a picture pocket that I did for my mom and she'll be able to slide a nice picture in there. And this is acetate and um, yeah, and over here I just ac accentuated. Oops, one of these fell off. Well, I'll fix that. Um, yeah, I accentuate it with some of these gold um embellishments and some more bows I thought that looked really really cute and what I decided to do I was like uh, I was on the wall on the fence whether or not I would do one of these but then I said you know what let me go ahead and do it because after all it, it turned out that I did have space for it and so yeah I did a waterfall here using the same paper line and I went ahead and I accentuated the top part with just a little bit of lace and bling and a metal uh, piece and this just goes like so nothing special just adding some papers and I think this is from the actual cover okay because that paper pack is so beautiful I wanted to use every single sheet including the cover so this is from the cover that's why you see one two three different designs but if you're just looking at it you know contemplating this you would you would never be able to tell that this is a piece from the front cover and so it goes like so and my mom will be able to um, tie this like this so that it doesn't move around on her and there we go and uh, these go here and so yeah I will put 
also a link to my blog post if you would like to see pictures of these and um, I will also have a link to my patreon in my blog post and I do hope that you support me on patreon and uh, yeah this is one of my mom's gifts for Mother's Day. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I've made several different gifts for her for Mother's Day as a way for me to say thank you. And um, what's going on is this. Some of you know, not everybody knows, some of y'all know that I've been ill for the past several months. Um, back and forth, doctor's visits and so forth, doing all sorts of tests and almost going through exploratory surgery. And I've also been tested for cancer because there was, um, there was that in the, in the minds of my doctors, they thought that I had a, um, a blockage in my bile duct and whenever you have a blockage in your bile duct duct it almost always means that it's cancerous okay that something is blocking it cancer cells and tumors growing there and after a lot of x-rays a lot of testing a lot of blood work and things were coming out negative they're like we can't find anything and the pain that I was feeling was so much so that um, it would bend me over, okay? And this has been going on for months. And I go see the orthopedic surgeon and I had had a CT scan. And in the CT scan, apparently they weren't taking the right pictures of it. And he goes, you know what? Let's do an MRI and I wanna see your entire spine with your MRI. Okay, so we go through that appointment and I think I did mention the MRI in one of my previous videos, how expensive it is. You know, even though the insurance pays for it, you have a huge chunk out of pocket, right? And so um, then I do my follow-up visit from that MRI and the surgeon goes, okay, I'm going to give it to you straight. You're going to need surgery. He, he gave it a name. I forget. Okay. But the explanation was that my spine has gotten so narrow that it's, hang on a second. Okay. So narrow that it is literally crushing my nerves and my spine spinal cord okay that is where the pain is coming from so on March 12th I'm going in for surgery but there's more to it okay he also found a couple of places in my spine in which it also needs to be taken a look at not right away He's going to give me time to heal from the first surgery, but I'm also going to require a second surgery, okay? And this one is to fuse three vertebrae, a couple of vertebrae in my mid-spine and one up ahead. He's, I'm going to need a spinal fusion. Sporadically, you will see some videos and blog posts of mine go live, but keep in mind that all of this has been done in the previous months. I made sure that I was um, able to complete everything and I have scheduled everything. So whenever you see a video come, come out, please, by all means, watch it. Uh, if you can leave me a comment, a thumbs up, I would appreciate that. I may not be able to answer any questions or comments right away because of the state that I'll be in, you know, my post-op and everything, but I will do my best to get back with you. Um, if anybody wants to be posted, wants to keep posted on my condition and how... Um, 
I'm doing post-op, by all means, you may contact Sandra Bose, you may contact Jenny, you may contact Beady Bomb Bomb, Yorlis Borja, Rosa Gomez, Amador, you may contact any one of the folks, uh, Esther Luca, in, in um, my close circle, and I will leave you. I got to remember to leave you with links to their channels so that way, you know, in case you just want to learn how I'm doing and how I'm coming about in therapies and when they think I might be able to come back to crafting, they will be your go to people. Okay, and um, let's see what else. Okay, I also wanted to talk about my giveaways. As some of you know, I hold monthly giveaways in my blog, okay? And thank you so much for those of you who are leaving me wonderful comments in my blog. Uh, thank you, thank you for all of your support. Now, during the month of March and April, I'm going to hold off on doing my blog giveaways because, as you know, of my surgery, okay, I will do my best to come back into active giveaways in May. I will do my best. And um, when I come back in May, I may do two giveaways each month, May and June, to make up for my non-giveaways in March and April. I hope that makes sense. So, and how I do my giveaways is all you have to do is um, leave comments in blog posts for that month. And I pull names out of a hat and I've already had people claim their prizes. So, um, yeah, in a nutshell, that's what's going on with me. So keep me in your prayers and um, I'll come back when I'm ready. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you once again real soon.